Diminished chords are the chord built off of the seventh degree of the major scale. So in C major, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the seven chord, B diminished. Uh -huh. It's naturally occurring in the scale. Another way to think about diminished chords is to think about them as an altered minor chord. So let's say in the key of B minor, the tonic chord is B minor, is B, D, and F sharp. And if we take this B minor chord and we lower the fifth of the chord, the top note, to F sharp, we make it instead an F natural, just a regular F, then we've made the chord smaller and we've made it diminished, and it's then a B diminished chord. Another way to think about diminished chords is to think about them like stacked minor thirds. So if we start with, let's say, E, then a minor third above E would be G, and a minor third above G would be B flat, and that would give us an E diminished chord. The nice thing about thinking about them this way is if we add one more minor third, if minor third above B flat is D flat, then we get a diminished seventh chord, which is a more colorful version of the diminished triad. So I'm going to show you two easy ways to use a diminished chord. The first way is to tonicize another chord. So we're going to be using it as a passing chord. So if we have a chord progression, let's say we're in the key of C major and our chord progression is C, one, five, six, and then four, something like that. And what we can do is we can actually insert diminished chords in between each of these chords. And the way that we're gonna do that, as you remember, the diminished chord naturally occurs at the seventh degree of each scale. So what we want to do is we want to take that diminished chord from each scale. So in order to tonicize the G major, we want to take the diminished chord from the G major scale, which is going to occur on the two, three, four, five, six, seventh note of the scale. And so that's going to be an F sharp diminished chord. So we can put that chord in right here. F sharp diminished. An easier way to find which passing diminished chord to use is to just use a chord one semitone below the chord that you're going to. So here the next chord that we're going to go to is A minor, so we're going to use a G sharp diminished chord. And then for the last one we can use an E diminished chord. One semitone below F. And now play the chord progression without the diminished chords and then with the diminished chords. So. So that's without, and here's with some diminished chords. Okay, so they add a lot of different color and they add a lot of direction to the music. Another way that you can use diminished chords is you can use them to embellish a certain chord in a chord progression. Um, one way to do this is to use a common tone diminished chord. So if we have a chord progression, let's say in the key of C major again, one, four, five, one. Excellent chord progression. And we want to embellish some of these chords. The one thing that we can do is we can use this common tone diminished chord. So what we would do is we would use a chord with the same name. That's why they call it common tone. So a diminished chord with the same name as C would be a C diminished chord. So we would actually play C diminished, and then we would play C. So usually what we're actually gonna be doing is instead of just playing the diminished triad, we're gonna play a fully diminished chord. Okay, so instead of just the diminished triad, we're gonna add that extra minor third above. So we can do that with every chord. So here's how the progression would sound without the diminished chords, and here's what it would sound like, and then after with the diminished chords, so here. So 
you can see that it adds a lot of a lot of color and it also kind of delays the arrival to some certain chords like at the end it really delays the arrival to the C chord so those are two ways to use diminished chords in music there's of course many more and I encourage you to experiment and play around with them and always use your judgment and taste to decide when and when not to use them.